you probably know the story. There's a giant who lives in a cave, has heard and hopes. Well, there's a little something more than just the Cyclops and Odysseus. In fact, there's a wonderful story of the Cyclops falling in love with Galatea, a sea nymph. And this is a story that I want to share with you today through the uh, idyll, the bucolic poem of Theocritus. Along the way, I'll also be showing images alongside the translation. Sometimes you'll see that Cyclops has three eyes, and not just one. And this fits into the whole notion that there are multiple versions of different stories going around. And so the Cyclops just becomes a character that different people can write about. So this might mean that you too have your own story of the Cyclops to tell. So this is Theocritus's 11th Idyll. And the Idyll is a poem kind of set in the countryside. And this is translated by Diane Arnson Sparline. There's no drug, Nicias, to cure desire, no hot compress, powder, ointment, or suspension, except for song. A sweet alleviation, but not easy sometimes. You should know. You're a doctor. And what's more, the nine muses love you better than they love most. So it was that back in Sicily long ago, the Cyclops Polyphemus made the best of it when he began to desire Galatea. When the first soft sprouting hair began to grow along his jaw and above his upper lip. His desire eclipsed convention. There was no sending apples or roses or exchanging locks of hair, none of the usual things. He was truly insane, could think of nothing else. He often sat alone, awake at dawn among the piles of seaweed by the shore, melting with desire, he sang to her, leaving his sheep to find their own way home. Wounded deep, the barb beneath his heart of Aphrodite's arrow, he found this balm. From the high cliffs staring out to sea, he sang this song. White Galatea, whiter than cottage cheese, why cast away the one who loves you? Softer than lamb's wool, springier than the knees of a newborn calf, bright as an unripe grape, why come near? When sweet sleep holds me still, then disappear when sweet sleep lets me go. I wake to see you bolting up the hill like the sheep who saw the gray wolf. I loved you instantly. The day you came with my mother to gather hyacinths on the mountain, I led you along the path. It's been the same ever since. I saw you. I can't stop. But you don't care. I don't mean a thing to you. Delightful girl, I know why you run away. My looks are frightening. I know it's true. One long shaggy eyebrow runs from ear to ear with one huge eye below. My nose is flat and wide. Yet, as I am, I keep a thousand head of cattle, and from them I fill a vat of the best milk to drink. All year round, I never run out of cheese, not even in the coldest winter. My baskets are always full. I play the pipe as no other Cyclops can, and sing, sweet apple, of you and of myself often late at night, for you, I raise 11 gentle fawns and four bear cubs. Come to me and you will spend your days no worse off than before. Leave the sea, the gray green sea to pound against the sand. Come, spend the pleasant nights curled up beside me. In my cave where there is laurel and slender cypress, sweet ripe grapes and ivy, dark, black, green, and from the cold, bright snow of Etna's forests, fresh, cold water, a drink good enough for any goddess. Who would trade these things for seaweed and salt surf? 
But if I am too shaggy, look, I have oak logs and unquenched by covering ash, the spark of a never wearying fire within my cave. I could endure being singed to the quick by you. My only eye, the sweetest thing to me. I'd let you burn it. Ah, oh, mother, why was I born without gills? I would dive into the sea, Galatea, and kiss your hand, since you would never let me kiss your mouth and bring small white crocuses to you, or tender red poppies with broad petals blossoming in summertime. I could not bring you both, since crocus blooms when snow is on the pasture, uh, together at the same time, Galatea. Sweet girl, I'll learn to swim right now. If only a stranger will come here in a ship and show me how, I'll know then why you love to live in the brine. Come out, Galatea, come out, and you'll forget as I do now to go back home again. Come, be my shepherdess, and help me milk the sheep and cows. Come, help me set the cheese. I blame my mother. She never says a word to you on my behalf. She lets you tease me constantly. She lets me waste away. I'll tell, her, I'll tell her that my head hurts so she'll worry. I'll tell her both my feet are swollen up. I want her to feel sorry since I'm sorry. Cyclops, Cyclops, have you lost your mind? Go weave your baskets, go and milk the ewe. That's here. Don't chase the one that runs away. Figure out the sensible thing to do and do it. That's always the best way. You'll find another Galatea, maybe. A prettier one. Many girls seek me out, calling in the night. Come play with me, giggling when I answer. Here on dry land, it's clear that I am someone of importance. And so, the Cyclops shepherded the ills of his desire with song. The muses salve, more surely than he could, with doctor's bills.